Today's video is about Smile Dog the meme. Number one, this contains lots of components, so I'm just going to address the origin story for only one picture, and I'm not even sure it's accurate, but it's probably accurate. And that's better than nothing, I guess. So we're going to look at the original source for the face itself, the original source for the background, and we're going to look at, well, we can't really find this. This is an image that's supposed to evoke the same imagery as the movie The Ring. It's a dark outline with an arm coming out, so it's implying there's somebody back there. And the head here is of a husky. So let's start with the back room. The background here matches. It's just the wrong tint. And there have been some alterations. Number one, this is covering up the plant that's back here. Uh, there's this back here that's more part of the image that's a very high interest in, to some people. There's what looks like some other part of the image that was cut and pasted over here. Not sure exactly how that happened. Uh, maybe they were just trying to get rid of more of the image. And um, there's also somewhere in the background here that someone's been able to discern right here a watermark. It's hard to see. The whole thing is filled with so many photo manipulations it gets to be challenging. And this image is called A Dark Room Illum Illuminated by Outside Street Light by somebody labeling it D. Basil Kill or Baskill or Bas La Kill or I can't tell. Anyway, I'm going to zoom it back out. And that's what the entire image looks like. This was also used as an album cover, maybe without the author's permission. The image, it, I have an archive of it to prove that it came out in like 2005. Um, but that image, background there, may be older. And what you're seeing here, the speckling effect, could be done by using a photo manipulation routine. It could also be caused by doing a long exposure with a camera that had a bad CCD imager. This is most likely that. It could also be caused by radiation damage to the sensor. But a lot of camera imagers actually have this kind of damage. So, And the thing is, all of them do, but they're kind of processed out. <clears throat> That's just a thing. These days, it doesn't happen often, very often. But anyway, there's Smile Dog. There's the background. Let's move on to the Red-Eyed Husky. This is the original image, and it's doing typical Husky things. This is the crop positioning it to line up with Smile Dog as best I can. Now, it's not perfect, but we can look at a couple of characteristics. This very specific angle in the line right down its no uh, uh, the, the middle between its eyes matches up very closely. Obviously, if you jack up the contrast and tint it red, it actually matches. The rest of it here is that this outline that becomes the, the monster's hairline gets duplicated a bit, but it's really just chopped off at that angle. And you can see where this hair becomes the trailing edge of this hair. Someone applied some sort of Photoshop filter for that. Down here we have a really inconvenient dark line, which is really from the background from way behind the critter. And uh, yeah, you can see that this is the same image, chopping off the ears by just literally cutting it off. And uh, that's most of it. Now, the part that's hard to do, obviously, to figure out is, well... This space here got filled with teeth, and there's a set of teeth in the middle, and also the snout. I haven't been able to figure out how this was done exactly, but it's probably based on some other part of the uh, animal's face being cut and pasted there as the fill-in. But I, I haven't been able to reproduce it or figure it out. A lot of people have tried. Next is teeth. This is a stock image from some patient somewhere on Earth sometime in history. So we take this and stretch it. And we put it right over where the teeth are. Now, I'm going to try to line this back up again because it's a little little janked up here. Actually, that's about as close as we're going to get. I'm going to zoom this in ever so slightly and see if that lines it up better. Anyway, you can see this big gap here with two sharp-looking teeth because they're kind of twisted at an angle. That's these. This is heavily stretched out. And then we get over here, it's stretched out again this way. It looks like it even had curvature added in. The thing that makes it to where we can track it to that is... This tooth is exposed less than this one. This one has exposure all the way down into the root area, which is happening here as well. Let's go back to the zoom in on it. This one's exposed more than this, and that's what's happening here. So that part there, someone figured out how to just chop that out and go look for teeth and see if there was something similar. As for the rest of these, these are cut and paste, it looks like, of either the teeth or other sources to fill it in. And like I said, when we have the dog there and we have Smile Dog, we have that. Now the parts I can't find, 
and almost no one has been able to figure out exactly how this was done. I mean, reproducing it, I can try, but I'll fail. Uh, this here, I looked up stock images from the movie The Ring, uh, all the other variations to see if I could see this hand gesture. Couldn't find it. Uh, what's causing this? Honestly, I don't know where it came from, and I don't know how to reproduce it. And again, the, the original back, the dark room image here doesn't contain it, so I'm kind of curious too. Anyway, um, trying to find this original image here, not found yet, which is a lie. So <clears throat> here we go again, select all. Um, I don't like that archive.org is preventing archive today from letting me make a clean archive. So here we go, waiting for it forever. There are three captures. The earliest one is from 2005, apparently May 21st. And there is the original image, and it was on a website called star.le.ac.uk, and it was under uh, tilde DBL CFD S disk, CFD S disk again, road lights, not FCO, dark room illuminated by outside street light by that person. Um, that website doesn't exist anymore. I don't know how to track down the origin story for the person. It looks like someone's personal blog or maybe their portfolio. If I can find it, I'll update the video later. Anyway, um, the imager link will be below and it ends in K-A-E-T and it has this image here. Obviously, it's, you know, part of, it's flipped around and then zoomed in and altered the hell. It also has the background because I better make a backup copy. Also, it should be pointed out that um, the Balam Acab New Year's album called Sitting Alone in the Dark contains the empty room image. It's just called Empty Room because that's the original name for it. A dark room or empty room, dark room, illuminated from outside. Um, the stock dental image there is included, even though it should be able to find. And these are my variations I made just because I thought it'd be fun to make, you know, a three-legged one and this one that's basically got one foot in hops around on it, I guess. Uh, but those are your demon images for the day. I'll probably use that for the uh, husky. Huskies are always huskies. So much husky. So anyway, it was a red-eye picture of a husky altered all over heck and gone. So, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. And I hope this uh, will give you wonderful nightmares. Uh, it will, I'm sure, to me. Bye.